Ah, oh, hell. I'm in the wrong game again. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and if you on Twitter, the Gaming Drag, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. So y'all, yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help greatly support the channel and get some awesome rewards, like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos, a little little teaser for that on the on the, on the Twitter that I posted. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and uh, jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Damn it, I don't have time for this kind of thing. Uh -huh. Hurry up. I'm not just about I'm just about done on my end too, and I am not picking up after the mess you made. Come on, a little help wouldn't hurt. Just grab the broom and wipe all this stuff back into the can. Stop being lazy. God, I know this is my fault, but still, you can be nicer about it. Just hurry it up, you Ouija. I don't want to run the risk of Case Case skipping out on practice to avoid me than losing out on the chance to talk to him. It's not like he needs the clubs in the first place. He could get himself a private coach if he wanted to. Even after what happened with his family recently, I doubt they deny him something like that. If he really wants to avoid me, the only place where I have any chance of talking to him is at school. Which means I really have to worry. There, I'm done. I'm going now. How are you done before- Hey, what- As soon as I'm done, I grab my bag and run out the door as fast as I can. One of the upsides to being fit is that even after running all the way here in record time, I haven't even broken a sweat. Now, where's Keisuke? I don't see him anywhere around here. Although, huh, getting here almost 20 minutes late means most guys have cleared off the locker room by now. I should keep that in mind. That way I won't have to end up huddling against a corner to avoid being half na avoid seeing half-naked men. Still, focus, you witchy, focus! If he's not in here, he will either have already gotten changed or headed inside, or he'll have gone home. Which is it? Okay, 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 okay. Just look, 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 look. Not here, not here, not here, not there, not there, not there either. I might drive myself insane if I keep going like this, but screw it! Senpai? Ah! The sound of a voice calling out from behind me nearly gives me a heart attack, making me jump forward and nearly causing me to crash into a nearby bench. When I spin around to see who it was, I see Keisuke standing in front of me with the most bewildered look on his face, racking at his hand in a towel over his shoulder. Keisuke! At the risk of regretting asking in the first place, why are you running around like some sort of lunatic? You have a really deranged look on your face. I, I was looking for you. For me? Why would you ever need to look like a total nutcase while looking for me? I, I just... I thought... What? Case K. Hey, what's going on here? Why are you crying all of a sudden? The feeling of relief I feel from having him standing in front of me right now, talking to me like nothing happened. It's so overwhelming that tears begin to well up before I even know what's happening. God damn it, here. Case K throws something at me. It takes a moment for my brain to catch up and realize that he's just covered my head with his towel, obfuscating my vision. Come with me. He grabs me by the wrist, leading me away somewhere that I can't recognize. What's going on? Where? We're in the locker room. Of course. I wasn't going to let you cry in the middle of the course where everyone could see. You'd be teased relentlessly for that. Oh, that's nice of you. Seriously, Yuichi, what's the matter? I, I got some relief when I saw you were still here. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's... I... I can't say. You can't say? You break down in tears at the mere sight of me, and you can't even tell me what that was about. If... If he doesn't know what I'm talking about, that means Alexander hasn't said anything to him. If that's the case, me saying anything now could actually be a catalyst... Could be the catalyst that causes everything to come crashing down. Yuichi, I recognize that look on your face. What's going on in that pretty little head of yours? It's not... Don't tell me it's nothing when you basically burst into tears in public. Your eyes are crazy red. Yuichi? Okay, okay, I I'll just tell you. Just don't use that tone with me, please. Then talk to me. What's going on? Are you okay? I'm not really. I, I thought for sure you were avoiding me. Hang on, What? why would you... Oh, wait a minute. Did Alex say something to you? What? Why would you think... God damn it, so he did. What do you mean? Alex talked to me last night about you and me. Oh no. So he actually did talk to him. I am so screwed! But wait, KSK hung around even even despite that? And he was also the one that talked to me first. Crap, now I'm all confused. Quit looking like you've seen a ghost. You shouldn't be surprised about that. What What exactly did he say to you? A lot of things, actually. He kept going on and about it, too. I just wanted for it to end. The gist of it was that he noticed my bruise. Guess when you're, guess when you're paid to be thorough and observant, you're pretty good at it, huh? Either way, he told me that it was a mistake to trust you, that abusive people don't change, and that I shouldn't subject myself to this. 
The list goes on. Oh, and? Are you seriously asking me that? I'm here talking to you, aren't I? But you didn't even consider it? Of course not. Alex is nuts if he thought for a second that I would go along with it in the first place. Like I'm going to ruin what I have with you because of something stupid like that. I just regret that I didn't think to ask him whether or not he said now whether or not he'd said anything to you already. Whatever it is he said or did, you can ignore it. And I'm so sorry you had to go through that. You can be sure I'll chew him out for it later. Don't, don't call it that. D don't say that. Second y'all, water time. I like this ominous droning in the background. Huh? What? You don't want me to say anything to him. I mean, you had a guy the size of a truck talking to you about something like this. You must have been scared, right? I was, but that's not the point. I'm afraid I don't follow. Don't call what happened something stupid. That's not right. Huh? But it was stupid. No, it wasn't. I hit you. How could that ever be stupid? It's... Ooh, excuse me. It's not like I didn't deserve... Stop! Stop saying you deserved it! Well, you wait you... Stop justifying it. It wasn't reason. There's nothing you could say that would have made you deserve what happened. It's not that big of a deal. You don't have to cry over it. Keisuke reaches up, trying to touch my face with his right hand. I grab his wrist, not letting him go through with it. Hey, what are you doing? Listen to me. I am listening to you. I just wanted to wipe the tears away from your face. You're not listening to me. You're making excuses and waving it off. All right, all right. I'll hear you out without making excuses. Can you let my hand go now? Sorry. And wipe your face. Your fur will get matted. There's only a few tears. It's not like it's not like I'm actively crying. Your fur will get stained regardless. My tears aren't made of ink. Still, I do as he says, wiping my face all on the cuff of my jacket. Man, I've nearly lost it three times already today. I'm way more sensitive than I thought. It's kind of scary. So, what is it that you wanted to say? You, you shouldn't make excuses for me. What I did was unacceptable. I should never have laid my hands on you like that. And yeah, maybe the way that Alexander talked to me was a bit, but it was scary. But he shocked me awake. I was content to just let it slide because it was better than feeling bad about it. But that's not right. But it's not like it was a big deal. I was being a jerk to you for no reason. You snapped me out of it. There are better ways to do that than clocking someone in the face. None that are as fast or efficient. Seriously? Are we actually talking about efficiency here? I guess you have a hard time not being practical sometimes, but it's really shocking that you'd be okay with this. What do you want me to say? It's not like this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. It's not even the top ten. Of course. He was raised for years in a place that, from what I've been told, seems to have been pretty abusive. Even if he's never gotten as far as being physically hurt, he's probably used to this kind of thing. Which is terrible. Keisuke, this is not okay. Well-adjusted people and healthy relationships don't hit each other. It's not like we've ever been... It's not like we've ever given Sai any grief for it. So why are we drawing the line here? That... That is an excellent question, actually. First of all, neither of us is dating Saya. The level of broken trust between being hit by someone you're dating and someone you're not very... And someone you're not are very different. That's a flimsy... flimsy but... I keep him from interrupting me. Wanting to at least finish my thoughts before he somehow finds another excuse to hop onto. Maybe we shouldn't accept it from her, either. Really? I still find this whole thing silly. Saya said never really hits us that hard, and she, us and she usually only does it when we insult her or get on her case. Either way, I don't mind it. So you're okay getting hit because of something you said? You're okay having to walk around eggshells with someone, never knowing when they'll blow up at you? That's... that's not what I meant. Besides, what if we flip the script here? What if it had been me that said something insensitive? Does this mean that you would think it's okay to hit me? What? No! Never! So why is it okay for me to do it? I hadn't really thought of it like that. Maybe that's the problem. Tell me, why is it you say you'd never hit me? Isn't it obvious? It's because I care about you. I never want to hurt... Oh. Right. Second y'all. Water time. Good. Now it feels like we're getting somewhere. I appreciate you care about me that much, but... Shouldn't the same go for me? Why do I get different standards applied to me? I don't know. I guess I'm just okay with it. I don't really care if you do it to me, but I know you'd care if I did it to you. It's not good. That's not good, though. Please, listen to yourself. You have to know just how bad that sounds. I, I guess. I was hoping for a little more of an emphatic agreement here, but baby steps, I guess. Besides, I don't want you to have that little voice in the back of your head telling you to be careful about what you say around me from now on. To be fair, I have that little voice around everyone. Sure, but do you usually have to worry about being hurt if you say the wrong thing around people? Better yet, around the people you trust? Um, I do around Saya-san, but I'm guessing you're going to say that that's bad too. 
Yeah, Sai really wouldn't be the right person to go to for advice on this. I suppose. You should never say that it's okay that I hit you or that you deserve to get hit. No one ever deserves to get hit. And yes, before you try to come at me with some kind of, well, actually, argument, of course there are exceptions. But unless you're being violent or threatening someone, you shouldn't get, you shouldn't get hit. You know me scarily well. I was about to say that. Yeah. You're argumentative to a fault. It wasn't exactly hard to guess that you tried to disagree with me on that. So, all right, so I would, I will also agree there, but there are also exceptions that I've heard of. I don't know if I agree with them, but I've heard that, but I've heard about them. There is a couple that I know, and one of them has suicidal tendencies. And when they get like that, their partner, if their partner cannot get through to them with words, will give them a light smack. And that will pop them out of it. Now, if you if your words aren't getting through to someone, and they are and it can, and they are acting like that, they're going to like possibly do something to hurt themselves. If words cannot get through, and you can possibly save that person's life, what is the what what is the I guess what is the trade off? They stay alive and healthy. And you and you have hit them. You've your your hand has made contact with them. Like you haven't punched them, but you've smacked them. Like you've smacked sense into them. It's I know there's a whole thing about it's never okay to hit someone, but like in certain situations, if it means that that person lives or dies, I'd say yeah. I, I would I would rather be the one to actually make that to, to make that choice if it means that the person I'm with will snap out of it and come back to reason. Because like. I've been I've been in a situation where I, I've been the one who has been like completely just non communicative and non communicative and just just like so focused on doing something that's bad for me. Now I'll say I've never I've never been smacked by my partner never by any partner I've been with I've never been smacked by them or hit by them. But I will say that I probably would have appreciated something snapping me back to reality. Maybe like grabbing some, grabbing me by the shoulders and shaking me or something like that. I'd say that would be more acceptable than smacking someone. So, but if that doesn't get through to them and all, all it takes is a smack, I'd say that that's probably okay. Like, obviously, I'm not saying abuse abuse your partner. Okay, this is like a very specific circumstance where talking to them doesn't get through. Anyway. Oh, yeah, water time. Uh, oh, God. Why does this... I know, it's supposed to taste like coconut, but it tastes like I'm drinking uh, fucking sunblock or something. It's like coconut scented sunblock. Weird flavor. But yeah. Yeah, obviously, not everything in life is black and white, so. Case K, I don't ever want you to accept that sort of thing, from me or from anyone. You shouldn't be okay with getting hit. So what? What do you want me to say here? Do you want me to say that I that what you, you've done is unforgivable and that I'm breaking up with you? What exactly do you expect to come out of this conversation? Of course I don't want that, but, but if... God, this is hard to say. But it needs to be said. I can't just think of what I want or what's best to me. I need to be honest. That's the only way I'll ever be able to live with myself. If you think it's what you have to do, then that's probably a good sign that you should. I don't want that. Ah. He answered so fast. I didn't realize how much of a relief it would have been. It would have. Would have. It would be to have him answer it like that. He didn't even bat an eye. Does. Does that mean you think you can forgive me? I want to say that there's nothing to forgive, but I'm pretty sure you'll be mad at me if I say that. A little bit. Look, Iwichi. I, I don't know. I don't really get this stuff. This isn't something I've ever had to think about before. I thought it was pretty normal. I've gotten hit lots of times by my personal tutors for being defiant or getting answers wrong. Granted, if I was being hit with a, granted, I was being hit with a wooden stick or a Harrison, not being punched. Oh wait, no, he fucking punched him. No, do not punch your partner. No, Jesus. That's horrible. Not really. It taught me a thing or two about respect. You can't just say whatever you want to people and expect to get no retribution. The one thing that did it the most was my violin instructor. She would slap my wrist hands. With, she would slip my hands with the wooden stick whenever I got something egregiously wrong. As far as I know, my father went through the same thing when he played when he played piano. That's I knew her upbringings were very different, but I never thought it could be this bad. 
be hit a bunch and have it called discipline? I don't even I don't even know what to think. That's awful. That's inexcusable. It makes me sick. The fact that I'm also someone who hit him for saying something I didn't like to hear also makes me sick. Please don't look at me like that. I didn't say this to you so you could feel so you could feel sorry for me. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out that Patreon, y'all. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.